Okay, so I'm pretty excited because today we're going to be reviewing Jonathan Hickman's latest from Marvel, and it's House of X and Powers of Ten. That's right. House of X, Powers of Ten. X, Ten. X, Ten. Isn't it obvious? On top of the two books, I'm also going to be reviewing these Bachelor Button Seeds. They gave these out the week that Powers of Ten came out. They're also known as cornflower. They're supposed to be drought tolerant. They're supposed to bloom between uh, 7 to 25 days. I'm really excited to see if these work and I'm really excited to see what they would look like considering they're supposed to be mutant flowers. Um, and it even says sowing the seeds of tomorrow right on top of it. So I have a few different ways I want to plant these and I'll show you and I'm pretty stoked. But first... House of X. Now, I'm just gonna flip till we get to the title page. There's only like two before it. But a small disclosure, I've only read um, East of West and a little bit of the Manhattan Projects by Jonathan Hickman. I haven't read anything else that he's done for Marvel. And I haven't read a Marvel mutants book with such a large cast like I've read more like one-off series or like standalone mutant series rather than like 10 to 20 different mutants involved so I'm pretty nervous about not knowing enough people and getting all of the references but we'll see I'm just gonna jump in hope for the best and if it's good enough anyone should be able to pick it up right so first page a lot of white there's a quote from Professor X already but this looks really futuristic um, and really like digital I'm not too sure what exact format this is gonna be and there's a few other pages um, that look maybe they could be in like meters or like some sort of map you'll see first page not too much dialogue great colors good stuff good stuff and then we get to the title page and it looks like a computer log almost um, you have all of the writers and who's worked on the book. You've got like the Marvel trademark at the bottom. But knowing Jonathan Hickman and knowing how like crazy his worlds can get, I feel like this already is some sort of like alphabet or like code. Um, it'd be interesting if there was like an app on your phone you could like scan and it like breaks down more of this like platform. There's also like little letters. I don't know. I don't know. Just like when I saw these immediately I knew this was some sort of like code and that we were gonna have to dig deeper into this comic and that there's probably gonna be more work in this than like most Marvel comics that are coming out right now. So the book starts off with a couple of politicians meeting with the mutants and they go on to explain how they're in the middle of creating this island called Kokora. And this island is a sentient being. Um, it's not quite like Ego the planet where it's got like its own personality or anything, but it does work as a hive mind. Um, everyone's got like this like community consciousness going on. It knows who's on the island. It knows when you're awake, but it is a living being. And so on this island, there's these different kinds of plants and there's six plants that the mutants are using to kind of get the rest of the world on their side. The pages that explain like the whole flower bit are actually really cool. Um, the only problem I have is this design's a little funky for me. Like there's a lot of like empty white pages up here. Um, I still feel like I should have an app for my phone that kind of like drags across it and more information's revealed or something neat. I don't know. Um, but it is a lot of like white on a page which I thought was kind of strange. Looks super fu futuristic. Um, I'm not too sure if these lines are supposed to be for like a meter or like a log. It does have like a bit of a log feel up here but I also feel like maybe it's a map. I'm not too familiar but it looks real neat. And again, are these letters? Are these symbols? Am I looking too much into it? I know Hickman has a lot of design and doesn't do things just for the fun of it. That's his brother, Mark. Um, but I, I honestly need to know if there's an alphabet or if anyone has cracked this. Let me know. Again, 
Lots of like log looking pages, lots of information. It's really nice because the price on this was $5.99 for the first book and I definitely feel like I got more than my money's worth at least. And then it ends with some death threats, of course, because the mutants are ready to live their own lives. The ending page is another white page. We've got another quote, this time by Magneto, and the reading order. Now I wasn't going to look too um, into the reading order for this one. Everyone has been saying that you bounce back and forth, but I did think it was really interesting that you go to Powers 2 and Powers 3 and you don't bounce back there and then it catches up more towards the bottom. So I guess we'll see. All right, so Powers of 10. Um, this one doesn't feel as thick as House of X, like that was the first thing I noticed. I don't know if it's the exact same pages, but it is the exact same price. Um, love the cover. This already looks um, much more futuristic than House did. And I'm just going to flip till we get to the title page. Another white page. A few more symbols. Symbols are changing. I already feel like I'm left out. And then it kind of just shows us that the timelines that they're going to go over in this issue. Um, and then it starts with a few people meeting. Looks like a nice fun day. She's not having such a great time. He's really enjoying himself. And then it's the title page. Again, looks like a log. The cover looks much more futuristic, so this is starting to feel a little bit in place now. Um, still seeing some sort of secret lettering though. Still can't read this. I really don't know if we're going to be getting it later. I really don't know if I should be researching in a Jonathan Hickman um, more now. And so then it talks about these different timelines. Um, one timeline, it's explaining how there are all these experiments going on, mutants right now, um, how different generations are affected differently and get different genes. Um, there are mutants that hunt other mutants, there are mutant camps, it's pretty wild. There's also this like war going on in the background and it explain and shows different mutants from the experiments. Um, and then the very last snippet of time, it shows this woman and everything seems to be together and at peace. So I'm really excited to see how we get to that point at least. Again, I just feel like there should be more information. I don't know if I should put this under black light. Really great colors, really nice looking pages. And then we hit the reading order. I definitely left a lot of detail out of these books. Um, it's a really great sci-fi story. I'm pretty excited to learn about the mutants and I'm glad that there are actually new mutants in here so I'm not the only one who's never seen them. Um, really interested to see if any of those blank spots actually lead to anything. If anyone knows about the alphabet, let me know please. Um, really just excited to see where these books go. Now let's go plant some seeds. So here I found these buckets at the dollar store and I was able to put just like a small hole at the bottom and then I just put some potting mix in there. Now I'm going to take this guy and put it in that guy and I'm going to take these guys and put it in these guys. I will be honest, they do look a little mutiny. I don't know if you can see, they've got little hairs on them. I'm used to popcorn seeds, these things are, they're trippy a little bit, a little weird. Okay, so over here I pretty much just pulled out all of the weeds and other roots that were already in. I am going to try to separate them in case they are like different colors. I mean, I it doesn't say, um, typically they're either blue or red, and so I kind of want to see like if depending on which batch you get, you get different colors or whatnot. Maybe they're all just mixed in, we'll see. Alright, so over here. I literally just dug this teeny tiny hole. I'm just gonna sprinkle a bunch in there, cover it up, nothing too deep. I might water this every now and again. My grass is dead over here because we haven't been watering it. Um, I might just let it see what happens, check in on it every now and then. 
Um, this was kind of just to see like what the worst of it could be. It says it's drought tolerant. It's in the sun, not constantly, but enough. This is pretty much just the bare minimum. I forgot about it. I tried my best. Tried, not really tried. Kind of thing. We'll see. We'll see what happens.